Something that was really helpful for me in eating disorder recovery was identifying my top five values. And I feel like that sounds so basic or something, but it just worked for me because it was, it was great in terms of me having that sense of life purpose and direction whenever I was feeling overwhelmed. When I say I just really need a mental health day, what I should be doing is... What I'm actually doing is... Hi everybody, as some of you might know, I struggled with eating disorders for 13 years. I did the classic pendulum swing through from one to the other to the other. And I've been in recovery for a few years. I've become really passionate about talking about my experience in recovery and hopefully offering a sense of community to those of you who are in recovery yourselves and maybe a sense of hope to those of you who might not yet be in recovery. I've written an article about my experience with eating disorders for Huffington Post. I've made YouTube videos about eating disorders and I talk about them often in my podcast, Empty Inside. But here today, I wanted to show you guys some resources that helped me in my recovery in the hopes that they help you, whether you're in recovery or thinking about it. Here we go. This book was really instrumental in helping me recognize what normal eating looked and felt like since my thinking was so warped that I really had no idea. This book was great, homeworky, pen and paper type if you're into that sort of thing. DBT is for sure the aspect of my recovery that I consider the most helpful. I swear by it, look into it if you haven't yet. And this book was great, though not focused on eating disorders. Most people on October 1st. Got my pumpkin pancakes, got my pumpkin coffee, got my pumpkin clothes. Me on October 1st. Something that really helped me in eating disorder recovery was not tracking my food intake. It was absolutely one of the most difficult aspects of recovery for me because tracking gave me that sense of control that I know and want so much in my life. But once I was able to overcome it, not tracking became one of the most helpful tools for me. I have... merch. Link in bio. Speaks righteous, sister Cena says funky. How bizarre! How bizarre! How bizarre! Why are you a dick? for not responding to your text i suddenly got really anxious for no reason My emotions planning their day with me. All right, guys, come on, let's get started. Hello, sadness. I don't want to. Oh, we don't have time for your sulking. So everyone else, come on. Yay, I'm so excited. Why is happiness like always invited? Okay, so I would love some time with our girl first thing if possible. Let's say I will have her spill some coffee on herself. That'll upset her. Well, I need some time with her too. Hey, yeah, you'll get yours, Jealousy. You always get yours. I'll take my time whenever even if it never comes. I'm just so happy to be here. Can you put me down for three hours with her at night? I always like to spend time with her at night. <sighs> Christ. Santa baby, just slip a sable under the tree. Who is this bitch? Who 
is this bitch. Santa! Friends, I definitely have friends. Objectively, I can say that I have all the friends. I have friends, I definitely have friends. Friends, friends, friendly friends. Time to meet my friends. Pam, did you hear about the services? Did huh? Did you hear the Dava What? I, I can't understand. Your husband is cheating on you. guys, welcome to my What I Got for Christmas 2020. Um, just wanted to, you know, put a disclaimer up top here that I'm not bragging. I'm just really blessed. So, you know, I, I do think it's important for you guys to know that I'm not bragging. I'm just blessed. Okay, so first thing that I got is this MacBook Air. It's so cool. It's so sick. I love it. And then I got this three-story house that you can't see because I'm in it right now, but it's pretty amazing. You'll just have to take my word for it. Then I also got a um, Range Rover that is exclusively driven by my butler, Jeebus, who I also got um, as a gift. He's like maybe driving it right now. Jeebus! I know where he is. Jeebus! Hope we can return him. Not bragging, just blast! I never really liked Patricia. She was always kind of a bitch. I wear this on Monday, wear this on Tuesday, wear this on Wednesday, wear this on Thursday, wear this on Friday, wear this on Saturday, wear this on Sunday. I don't know about you, but I'm over 2020. Do you guys remember Rudolph? God, yeah, we used to laugh and call him so many names. We were real assholes. Did he show up? Is he here? Nah, man, I hear he's too busy living his best life. Apparently our bullying was a traumatizing event and in overcoming that trauma, he built character and became a self-actualized reindeer. Well, shit. I got pretty Hey Jesus, I, I brought you some gold. And I brought you frankincense. Uh, I brought myrrh. What? I, I said a classic, timeless gift. Alright, I nailed it, guys. Gold? Nobody knows what the fuck frankincense and myrrh are. What are you- I can't take you guys anywhere. So, when someone says to you, Hey yo, fuck you, you don't know what you're talking about! You can just say, <laughs> No, <laughs> fuck you. <laughs> You don't know what you're talking about. I was just like, guys, I'm not, you don't make me do this every single time. Don't want to lie for Christmas. There is just one. Next year, all our troubles will be miles away. Does anybody want to say Thanksgiving prayer? Honey? Sorry. Kids? Stop hitting me, Jack! All right, I will take one for the team then. Dear Father in Heaven, my sincerest apologies for starting a family. They all suck. in the green bean casserole, huh? I went to three stores to get those french fried onions and I ate too many of them, I gotta watch it. Well, I guess none of us like mom's baked beans anymore, do we? Those are untouched. Can somebody turn off Home Alone while we say the family prayer? It's a terrible example of a mother anyway. I guess we'll never know. This is not what Zachary Zelfer Ziffen, whew, all done. All right, 
Santa. Now that you're done, let's celebrate with some cookies. I have to check it again. Aaron, Abraham, Adam. Hi. I'm here to make sure that you can't make eye contact with anybody and that every time you try to talk, your voice shoots up two octaves. Silent, oh, it was a silent night. Yeah, yeah. Knock, knock. Who's there? Uh, it's me, your, your teenage daughter you abandoned 15 years ago. I was thinking maybe we could try and establish some sort of a connection. Dad? Oh my god, Santa, I am so sorry I'm late. I went out dancing with the sugar plums and then all of a sudden I look up and it is just 4 a.m. Needless to say, it has been a rough morning. Not enough eggnog in the North Pole. So I did not meet my quota for yesterday, but I was hoping that maybe I could just kind of hang around after class and you could help me make up for the toys that I missed. And I see you So with everything I am Thank you Thank you Because you In honor of the very smart, insightful, humble, skincare junkie you all know and love, Hiram Yarbro coming on my podcast Empty Inside this week. I wanted to show you guys my skincare routine, so here it is. All right, so I start with the Hot Olabo Cleanser, and then I, oh, I did not realize those letters <laughs> were backwards, the Pharmacy Deep Sweep, the Tetraiso Thingy Mip Pop from The Ordinary, and then Naturium Rich Moisture Cream, which I love, and not one, not two, but three layers of sunscreen so I don't get the cans. All right, that's it for my skincare routine. And if you guys have not heard the podcast yet, you can check out the link in my bio. Hiram was so generous in sharing his story with so much vulnerability and honesty, and, uh, and I really think he's the best. I, I hope you enjoy it. Bye. Here are my favorite slash most used skincare, hair care, and body care products of the month. Let's start with skincare, more specifically breakouts. This pimple lotion by Kinship totally does its job, plus it smells like oranges. Who doesn't love that? Mario Badescu's drying lotion is an oldie but a goodie. It's classic. I actually totally forgot how much I love this stuff until I got a new one recently. Hot Labo's cleanser, pretty basic in terms of a cleanser, but I've been using it almost every day. Love it. I'm actually out of it now. Plant Ceramide Rich Moisture Cream. This is one of my favorite textures on earth. It's so buttery, so luscious, so rich. I absolutely adore this stuff. Creme and Shein's Ultimate Honey Nourishing Mask by Fresh is great. It smells like honey and burnt caramel. I'm actually not gonna dip my fingers into it though because it's super expensive, don't wanna waste that money. Pharmacy's Honey Grill is, oh, I actually use this as a hair oil and it's great for fixing split ends and just keeping my hair healthy. Dove's Exfoliating Body Polish smells like rice and oatmeal. The texture is fantastic. And Pharmacy's Be Clean Body Wash smells like maple syrup and honey. Love this stuff, it's amazing.